Hi, my name's Ollie, and I'm one of the people responsible for organising MOOC competitions with the Cambridge University Law Society. So mooting is where students act as if they were barristers in a mock appeal hearing on a point of law. Mooting is different to a mock trial, which is about establishing what the facts of a case are by examining witnesses. In contrast, mooting is about a dispute as to how the law applies to the facts. There are lots of different benefits of mooting. First of all, it's a really fantastic way to put your legal research skills and your argumentation skills into practice with a fictional case. And that ability, if you're a law student, is really useful for essays and problem questions. And if you're a student from any other subject, those abilities of researching issues and critical thinking and making structured arguments are really useful in whatever field you practice in. Mooting is also a fantastic thing to do if you're interested in being a barrister, but the skills are also equally transferable if you're interested in being a solicitor or indeed any other career. It's particularly good for developing your public speaking skills and, importantly, your ability to think in a structured way and to communicate in a structured way. Mooting is also a great way to meet people from other colleges, make new friends, um, and also it's a great way to network with judges or students in higher years or perhaps even barristers who've been brought in to judge the later rounds of competitions. There are lots of different opportunities for meeting in Cambridge. There are often competitions on a college level or organised by college law societies, but we also run a number of competitions on the university level. So for beginners, we have the fledglings moot, which is for people who have no prior mooting experience before they start at university. It's open to people of any year and any subject, provided they don't have any experience. And for lots of students, it's a fantastic way for them to introduce themselves to mooting, see if they like it, develop their skills, and if they find that they enjoy it, then they can progress to our competitions for more experienced mooters. So we also have a number of team moots. We have the 3VB moot and the Cuppers moot, where students pair up with another student and progress through the competition as a team. And then for our most experienced mooters, we also have the Dismith competition. Cambridge also participates in a number of external moots. We have competitions with other universities, and we also take part in a number of prestigious national and international moot competitions on many different areas of law. So when you're preparing for a moot competition, the first thing to do is to read the problem through very carefully and, very importantly, to identify whose side you're on. Once you've done that, it's then a matter of legal research. So you might start with textbooks and practitioners' books, and then you'll go into the primary sources, so the cases and the legislation that you'll use as authorities. You then need to come up with a skeleton argument, which is a short, written summary of all the arguments you want to make. And finally, on the day of the competition, you deliver your submissions in front of the judge. Now, the judge will ask you questions, test your ideas, probe your understanding of the problem, and an important skill is to be able to think on your feet and respond to the judge's questions in a satisfactory way.